We had a really tough time a few years back. The funding wasn't coming through smoothly. I basically had to take out loans to keep the doors open. I had to lay off employees. We had to downsize, and I just did what I had to do. Sometimes we didn't, we didn't have payroll. We had to wait until the state monies came in. And if the state monies came in late, then they had to wait on their paycheck. They may get half. It didn't help when the governor didn't uh, sign the uh, budget. That just kind of put us, set us back even more. It made us all insecure whether we were gonna even get paid at all. There was a period that we couldn't accept any applications through Illinois Action. So I'm not sure what those parents did. Maybe they didn't go to work, but that's tragic. I need every family that I can get to build up my enrollment. So turning away parents wasn't helpful at all for us. I didn't have that extra money I needed. You know, I had the same overhead, and my Montessori certified teachers don't come cheap. If the state could just make us providers feel confident that the funding was there, then we wouldn't have to worry about who walked through the door and whether we had to turn them away. It never occurs to me just to take private parents, okay? Montessori was started with deprived children. I don't think it would be fair to just take the private parents and you have the struggling families that want a quality education for their children as well. I started this business because I wanted to be a part of the children's lives early. It hasn't been easy, but it's my ministry, you know, and I just won't give up.